I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. Stopping them now. They going to jail. Pa da pa 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 da pa 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 da. Ain't no stopping them now. They going to jail. Cause you about to lose your job. Pa pa. They about to lose they job. Pa pa. They about to lose they job. They going to jail. Okay, y'all, so how y'all doing? This is your boy Jedediah, a.k.a. Black. This is your man's Jedediah, a.k.a. Black. And I wanted to come on here. I know you guys always see me rapidly posting, acting like this is Twitter, but this is my page. This is my personal page, so remember, I just do my best to deliver it. I'm not as tech savvy as I should be. We're working on it. But you guys, literally, I want to tell you all that I'm so happy, and I've already written it on my page, but some people actually watch these videos and they get it better then. Some people get it when you type it. Some people get it when they're doing things. There's different types of learners. So what I want to come on here today or right now to share with you all, first of all, you all have blessed my mother. My mother today have been blessed with $500, $500 total from people who have helped me say happy birthday to to uh to her thank you so much my proof of how i am because you got to prove and have receipts if you guys remember i was just in court for a restraining order right remember before i seen what i went through what i was getting ready to go through i had to, i had told my lawyer i'm good i don't need it i had told people don't come i'm good i don't need it this is a small situation that i can handle on my own so i went to court then it was that then i called my lawyer blah 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 as you guys see I don't like to try to put no more of a burden on nobody than I need to. And I try not to ask people for nothing because they will throw that shit right back in your face at moment's notice. But that's my proof. And then I showed y'all at the end of the day, I actually have a lawyer who was handling in that specific case because I have several lawyers who are giving us their services pro bono. I showed you guys the lawyer that was going to be dealing with the restraining order. And that's the lawyer, as I reported to y'all, that she fired. That the mayor of Dalton fired and replaced for the one who quit on her. <laughs> this is getting good. So anyway, I've had the opportunity to be in Texas. Take care of my baby. I got to go drop him off again. Oh, he didn't like that. He screamed. I got to go drop him off again to get ready to get back for hell. We got to make a stop in Las Vegas. Got to make a stop in D.C. Before I ultimately get right back to Chicago so that we can launch hell on Monday. As y'all remember, make sure, make sure, make sure that you all are there at 5. I'm going to be there at 5 o'clock on Monday at the Village of Dalton uh at the, at the Village of Dalton for their meeting, we're going to have a launch off there. I'm asking for everybody to make sure you bring wigs and pots. Wigs, pots, and spoons. Wigs, pots, and spoons. You got to bring wigs, pots, and spoons to the Village of Dalton on Monday. We're not taking the pots or the spoons in the building. So if you got to go in the building. If you go in the building, your pot's going to be put into a space where everybody else's pot is. So if it's a pot that you're going to want to use or cook, or if you're nasty and you're going to go cook with it again, anyway, you'll get your pot when you come back out. Remember, I also said this. If they don't allow us all in the room, respectfully, in relates to the Open Meetings Act, their meeting is not going to happen, just like last time. Public comment, they can listen to what we got to say, and then we outside. But regardless of how it goes, there's going to be a ceremonial launching of Hell Week 
where we're going to be charged from residents and hopefully elected officials. Okay? Remember, if you don't want the wig, you will leave the wig with me. It will be donated to organizations that we're selecting that give wigs to people who are battling or surviving cancer. Okay? So Sheena, the pot lady, I'm expecting her to be there. And since I know she's such an expert, we're going to pay her for consulting because I need those pots to be beat on beat. Okay, so with that being said, why did I come on live right now? There's an announcement that I want to say. I can't say the name because they don't want to be mentioned, but y'all, I have not lied to y'all not one time. Throughout this whole ordeal, it's been a little difficult because I've had to balance so many different things. Getting information, organizing things, most of the time remote, um, paying for things for individuals that have been affected by this and not make a big stink about it online. I had to do so much. And it was hard because you put up these links, you do your best, but oftentimes people have struggles or whatever, so I get it. People will contribute 10, 5, 2, $20 every now and then. You get somebody who will send something like 500 or 1,000, and it will help us get the information because that's how we broke the code of silence. Well, I don't have to worry about that anymore. The part as it relates to the investigation. There is a philanthropic businessman who is giving 20. Now, let me help y'all out. Typically, you can get a good $10,000 for a tax write off from philanthropists. Did y'all hear what I just said? Typically, you can get about a good $10,000 easy for a 501c3. From a lot of these celebrities and a lot of these multimillionaires, they give you $10,000 and it got to be a tax write off. But let me tell y'all how powerful and how amazing God is. We didn't murmur, we didn't complain. People attacked us. People wondered why this, why that. Got to deal with all the foolishness that come along with re raising basic resources to do very big things. Anyway, I'm not going to belabor the moment. We have been given a 20 thousand dollar pledge not worried about it being tax deductible a businessman is given twenty thousand dollars pledge specifically for us to reward people for coming forward with receipts so if you have any information that will give us further understanding of what's going on you're going to get a reward, in some cases, up to $1,000. The only one right now that I'm going to give $10,000 for is if you got greater receipts that prove that there was a drug operation going on in the village of Dalton. We will turn over the things that we think are criminal to the appropriate authorities. We will release the fact that we have it to the public, and we will only give the public information that we think we we'll help them have an understanding without compromising court proceedings. Last but not least, we will not ever, ever share the identity of the persons who are giving us the information. We will not reveal how much money you've received and we will scrub everything connected to you and it will never come back. The only way that it has ever happened with me is if you play in my face or if you are my enemy. But we have a $20,000 pledge seed for information, tips, pictures, video. You can get up to $10,000 in some cases, but in most, up to $1,000 for information that will give us greater understanding of what's happening in Dalton. You just reach out to me in my inbox and I'll go from there. But I want to say this. The $20,000 is a pledge. It is, it is, it's, it's legit. It's going to come directly from, hey, you're supposed to be on vacation. Get off this line. It is going to come directly from the businessman himself, directly to you. Okay? So now, I don't have to worry about the resources 
to do this investigation. And if y'all don't think that me and my team finna go hand, but I also promise y'all this, I'm not gonna ask for not one dime. I am not going to get one dime. I am not going to keep one dime. That's why I told them that they could just send it direct and they're going to do it their way. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. We have probably in the fund of what people have given us about $1,500. So now I don't have to use that for investigations. I don't have to use that for that kind of stuff. That gives me a greater ability to get certain things for hell week. So with that being said, y'all... <laughs> So, I'm sorry. It's getting gooder and gooder and gooder and gooder and gooder and greater and greater and better and better and better and better and greater and gooder and gooder. Uh huh. By the second. I hope I said something that added value to your life. Chicago, I love you. Dog, I got your back. Man, this is a good day. I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. You know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Well, was I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down.